rebellious? What would you do if you found out it was you too? Rebellious. What would you do if you found out it was you too? Rebellious. What would you do if you found out it was you too? You rolled the dice, didn't get it right. You say you come back to kill you. Rebellious. What would you do if you found out it was you too? Rebellious. What would you do if you found out it was you too? Rebellious. What would you do if you found out it was you too? You rolled the dice, didn't get it right. You say you come back to kill you. Rebellious. If you are a leader, tell me how you lead it. Are you leading righteously? Are, are you out deceiving? You know? Expunging all your flaws, or you pay the cost? You know? Continue in your ways and take a major loss. You know? Yahweh gave his life for a holy nation. You know? Not for you to take his word and make an occupation. You know? Though a workman is worthy of his labor, you can play with the sheep of his flock and face the Savior. It is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands you of the multitude of problems with this understanding all right so first thing i want to deal with i want to get these three scriptures so you ask the question verse 19 why did the most high why did he say in the bible verse 19 let me make sure i'm, I'm doing it right verse 19 isaiah 19 and um 25 it says and whom the lord of hosts shall bless saying bless be egypt my people now, the question is, why would the Most High God in the Bible say that Egypt is my people? Okay, so let's answer that. All right. So this is Isaiah chapter 27. I want y'all to walk with me now because I was very patient and respectful to the brother and allowed him to get it all out. All right. So this is Isaiah chapter 27. I'm going to read verse 12 and 13. We need to know why is Egypt called my people right so it says here in verse 20 uh, 27 and 12 and it shall come to pass in that day that the lord i'm just going to read it as it's written that the lord shall be off up from the channel of the river unto the stream of egypt and ye shall be what gathered gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. So the reason it's making mention of the of, of Egypt being my people is because the children of Israel is in Egypt to this day. So we're gonna I'm gonna substantiate this even more, right? Verse 13. And it shall come to pass in that day that the great trump shall be blown. And they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of where? Assyria and the outcast in the land where? Of Egypt. And shall worship the Lord in the holy mountain of Jerusalem. So now it says here in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11, let's see where the children of Israel will be gathered. Because ain't no damn Ham and, and Shem the same. Okay, ain't no damn Israelites and uh, Ham and Shem came together to make Israelites. That's a damn, that, that's utterly ridiculous because Ham is one of the most wicked and evilest races on the planet Earth. That's factual based upon, let me, let, I didn't, I didn't interrupt you. I didn't interrupt you. All right. So, so that's factual. Going, we go right back to Genesis chapter uh, 10, where we was reading, starting from Genesis, the whole chapter 10 and a whole chapter 11, lets you know how evil and wicked going all the way up into Sodom and Gomorrah, dealing with the, uh, the Canaanites and the evil and wickedness that they portrayed upon this earth. All right. So now it says that. Verse 11, it says, and it shall come to pass, Isaiah 11 and 11, in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to what? Recover the remnant of his people. Who is his people? The children of Israel. And where are they at? Let's see. To recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left 
from where? Assyria and from Egypt. So the reason that the Most High is making reference in Isaiah chapter 19 of is Egypt being my people? Because the children of Israel is in the land of Egypt. Not that Egyptians are the Most High's people. Okay? So now it says here, let me get this. This is um to further substantiate this. Um, this is uh, Amos chapter 3, and it reads, Amos chapter 3, it says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of where? Egypt. Saying, listen good, brothers. Listen good, saying, you only, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you, the children of Israel, for all your iniquity. So let's see if we're further sharing inheritance with the damn Hamites. All right. So this says here. Hey, boy, that hatred is powerful, brother? Hey, hey, I'm going to stand up for the children of Israel. Let me let me finish my point, all right? Let me finish my point. I'm not, I'm not regarding. I'm so glad you ain't Jesus, my nigga. I'm not regarding. I'm not what I am, what I'm doing. What I'm doing. What I'm doing. What I am doing is standing for the children of Israel. Uh, yes, he ain't saying that stuff. Now, let him put, he ain't saying the word, but he's putting that fire and talking about how the children of Israel are going to be like Egypt. Now, let me tell you something. 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 Let me tell you unto Jacob, his statutes and his commandments unto Israel. Verse 20, he have not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. That's what the scriptures say. Being a preferred nation. Let's get another example. All right. This is uh, Deuteronomy. All right. Matter of fact, um, let me get let me get Exodus first. All right, Exodus. Hold up now. All right, so let me get let me get Deuteronomy first, then I'm gonna get Exodus, right? So this is Deuteronomy chapter 28. I want everybody to just just follow me, man, because hey, it, it, we're, we're not the same people. That's ridiculous. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna deal with that. I'm gonna deal with that. I'm gonna deal with that also. All right. So. All right, so this is Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy. This is uh. 
Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 9. Okay, it says, For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. All right, and this next one is a Hulk smash. Oh, you yep. say inheritance, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, then. Uh, that same word inheritance is in Isaiah 1925, sir. It sure is. It sure is. It sure is. All right. Uh, and uh, I want to deal with that DNA if you'll let me too, but I'll let you come right back in after I get this last scripture, okay? All right. One second here. One second here. All right. So as we can see, as we're looking at the difference between uh, uh, Egypt and Israel, according to this brother, Egypt and Israel are one people. OK. Here, here's the scripture right here. All right. So this is uh, Exodus 11 and 7. And then you can chime in after this. I want everybody to pay close attention to this, because according to him, E Egypt and Israel is the same, all right? One people, one people. This is uh, Exodus 11 and 7, and it reads. Salakia, that's, that's Leviticus. Uh, Exodus 11 and 7. 11 and 7, and it reads. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know that the Lord doeth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. The floor is yours, brother. <laughs> Woo! That's a cold cut right there. That's Hulk smashing right there, boy. That's Hulk smashing right there, boy. Just calm yourself down. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me take the air out your time. Right. That has anything to do with biology. You don't know what you're talking about. So God put those children and the women away. But according to you, if we believe you, those children should have stayed with their fathers and they should have put their mothers away. So well, 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 like well reason being is because the mothers was going to turn the hearts of the children anyway. No, I'm not stopping it. You, you, you asked the question. That's right. Yeah, but your soul, but your, but your soul and your personal deliverance. Hold up, hold up. Let's see. Do we see this in the Gospels? Do we see this in the, Do we see this in the New Testament? Now, do we do do we see this in the New Testament? Do we see it in the New Testament? No, because we don't agree with you. We playing silly. <laughs> Yo, it don't matter because I asked you a question. Do you see that? No. No, not at all, because you see that same thing in the New Testament, and I'm going to read it, okay? This is Matthew's chapter 10, all right? This is Matthew's chapter 10, all right? You're supposed to love the Most High more than you love your children, man. Give a damn about no children when it compares to my love for the Most High. Are you serious? This is Matthew's chapter 10. Let's see. Because... Because they, because the mothers, because the mothers was going to turn the heart of the children away from. Are you going to let me answer? Are you going to just keep talking over me? Are you going to let me answer that? You asked me a question. Let me answer. We got two people that joined us. We don't want them to think that we just some children. We got one person. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My 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 apologies, Minister. Mine too, brother. Hey, welcome, Prince. Uh, Prince Zion, welcome to the group. 
Yo, yo, but minister, you know, we passionate, man. You know, that's how we get. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm gonna uh, while while they're looking for that, I'm going to give two scriptures and 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 to bring forth the understanding of why would the Most High say that? Okay, so now this is Matthew's chapter uh, ten, and it reads. Think not that I've come, Matthew 10, 34. Think not that I've come to set peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword, verse 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and a daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against, mo against her mother-in-law, verse 36. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Verse 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Or he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And so now what would these uh, mothers be doing? The same thing that they would do to the husbands is why the Most High told them to separate from these heathen women. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 7, and it reads. Yeah. All right, so uh this 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 one scripture uh minister, and you can come back in. Uh this is Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them, thy daughters thou shalt not give unto the unto his son. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. Verse 4. Why? For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve what? Other gods. So will the anger of the Most High Yahweh be, upon, be kindled against you and destroy you. So the Most High said, instead of you being destroyed, you let them damn children go with their mama. All right? And, and you get yourself right with the Most High. And that's the reason why somebody, the Most High would tell them to let them children go. Why? Because they will turn their sons from following the Most High. That's why. Uh, brother, I, I hear you. Now, let me, let, me, let me give you the full knowledge, brother. Uh, <laughs> there, were, there, were, there were times, listen, brother, let me do this now. There were times when God was okay them marrying outside of the, the so-called Israelite nation, and there were times that God was not okay, all right? Now, one of those main times when it was okay for the Egypt, for the Israelites to marry Egyptian, is when they first went into Egypt and became a nation. They became Israel in Egypt, sir, not outside of Egypt, in Egypt they became Israel, okay? Intermarrying for 430 years with those Hamite Egyptians, sir, whether you like it or not. Okay? Goddamn. Now, brother, uh, there's another example <laughs> time when God, God approved of, of, of Israelites, of the Shemites, marrying Hamites, when uh, 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 Moses uh, 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 was marrying uh, the, was it the Ethiopian or the Egyptian Ethiopian? And his sister and brother came against him about that. And God himself came down. God himself came down, brother. He was so goddamn mad. And what did he do when God came down here himself in a cloud? He turned his sister and gave her leprosy and turned her white. Am I right, brother? Am I sure a goddamn lie? That's what the scriptures say. Hey, let's make this clear. Let, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's make this clear. Uh, oh, no, no, listen. Moses, Moses' wife was not Moses' wife was not an Ethiopian. Moses' wife was not an Ethiopian. Okay, but excuse me, excuse me. Okay, maybe I got the people confused. 
Now don't make a lie out of me, brother. Maybe I'm making a mistake, brother. When God came down here and turned, uh, was it Moses' sister into, uh, uh, and gave her, turned her wife? No, that's right. Moses, brother, yes or no? Yes, yes, that's right. Okay, then. So who, now, what was she upset about him doing, sir? Marrying an Ethiopian woman. Thank you. That's a hammer, right? Right. No, so I, I'm talking about the daughter of Jethro, which the children you made reference to. The daughter of Jethro is not uh, was not. How am I running? You made a statement that wasn't true. No, well, they they have to, they have to be under servitude. They have to be. Oh man, stop, man, brother, please, man, listen to what I just said, and stop, and stop, uh, 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 uh adding stuff to what I said. When the Egyptians came down here, so why did the Most High why did the Most High tell him to separate from them? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need you to listen to quick, brother. See, see, what I'm about to say is not true. Okay, now listen to what I tell you. Okay, listen to what I tell you. Okay, now listen to what I tell you. Okay, now listen to what I tell you. They were not slaves, brother. They were royalty. They were of the royal family. They became a royal family in Egypt. The ruling class under Joseph, sir. They weren't even no goddamn servitude. Now, later on in Egyptian history, the Hyksos, the Hyksos came in and took over Egypt from the original Egyptians who were at peace with Joseph and who loved Joseph and Joseph's family. Okay? So these were Hicklos Egyptians who enslaved the original Egyptians and the Israelites. What? Me, I don't want. I don't want to go into that. Yeah. Yeah. You talking about the? You talking about the shepherd kings? <laughs> now the Egyptians. Now all of a sudden the Egyptians was enslaved. Come on, man. Come on, man. That the Egyptians, you said the Egyptians was enslaved too. Yes, the Egyptians were enslaved too. Yes, sir. Oh my God! What? What? What the? Where is? Where is that reference? Brother, let me just let me keep on talking. God damn it! I don't want to get this up here. No, it ain't too heavy for me, man. I'm I'm well studied, man. Don't get it twisted. Let's get back to let's get back to the point. Don't get it twisted, man. That the Egyptians and Israelites are one people. That's 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 not brother, true. That's what you said. No. That ain't what you said though. Now you changing. You moving. You moving the goalposts. You're moving the goalpost because you know I just Hulk smashed all that whole that Isaiah chapter 19 just got Hulk smashed and you know it. No, brother, it did not, it did not sir. I'm going to go there and I'm going to atomize you, okay? <laughs> now, like I just got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the foundation of knowledge that you need. I'm not going to leave you dumb, bro. I'm giving you the whole truth. Now, what I just said to you was that there were times God was okay with the, with the Israelites. 
Christ marrying him. Like, and it started at the very beginning when God sent the, uh, 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 the Israelites into Egypt, I mean Jacob, into Egypt, where they became a nation in Egypt, sir. They became a nation of Israelites in Egypt, not outside of Egypt. Intermarrying with Egyptians, so you cannot get around it, but you don't like it because you believe that goddamn lie about him being so wicked and evil above all humanity. You believe a white supremacy lie. Now, no, I believe that we're not Hamite in no way, shape, or form. Damn, brother. Let me finish, man. Now, what I'm saying to you, brother, that Israel became a nation in that we Hamites. That's what you said. That's what you started this whole thing about. You said that we are Hamites. Ain't no way in hell we Hamites, brother. That's what you said. You said we Hamites. You said we Hamites. We ain't no damn Hamites, man. Are you out of your mind? We ain't no damn Hamites, brother. The physical difference between a Hamite and Shemite is their fathers. We descend from the uh, lineage of Shem, and Ham Hamites are the, the, of the lineage of Ham. We have different fathers. Those different fathers. Uh, brother, you gonna sit up here and play stupid with me, and I ain't you, brother. I'ma ask you one more goddamn time, so this excuse me, brother. <laughs> I just asked you, what is the physical? I can look with my eyes and you can look with your eyes and distinguish a Hamite from a Shamite. Tell me what are the physical or uh, uh, phenotypical, phenotypical uh, differences between a Hamite and a Shamite, sir, so we can know who's who, goddammit. Okay, the, pheno the, 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 the pheno differences are bone structure, cranial structures, nose structures, hair, hair follicles. All of these things are scientifically different from Ham. Ham and Shem are different. With bone structures, feet, uh, um, um, cranial structures, 
nose structures, and, and hair follicles are different from ham. Please give me the details, brother. Look it up. Look it up. Take some time. You look it up. Well, I, that, that's um, not a problem. Point, I can... um, last point I'm going to make on this is the, uh, that Africans and Negroes are two different peoples. Um, you know, race and skin color are really a red herring. Okay, it's 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 a, a kind of divisive lie that uh, has been put about, and I'm going to going to go into this a bit more in detail. Yeah, to to separate people by perceived race is is a distraction. Okay, um, so we all think that uh, all black people are the same, basically, but they're not. Africans and Negroes are different. They have a different skeletal structure, different skull shape. And, um, and one interesting thing as the uncleanness of a separation verse 27 and whosoever touches those things shall be unclean and shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until evening I'm saying Aluda is saying he's reflecting on his childhood in his tribe in his land before he was kidnapped and sold into slavery okay let me get, let me get real quick, let me get page 49. This is page 49 of the life of Oluda Equiano. All the nations and people I had hitherto passed through. So we know that uh, in the great captivity, right? The uh, Ma'afa, right? They say that uh, well, not they say, what happened was the, the, the African people, the so-called African people that dwelled inland, uh, a lot of the, the tribes that existed on the coast was hired by Europeans to go in, kidnap them, bring them to the coast. Am I right? So Aluda, in this part of the book, is re reflecting on after he got kidnapped and his uh, journey from the inland to the coast. So. The people that kidnapped him is bringing him through all of these different parts of Africa just to get him to the coast. So when you read from the top, when he says the people that he came in, into contact with through all these lands, that's what he's talking about. So you can have a context. Read. All the nations and people I had hitherto passed through resembled our own in their manners, mm. customs, and language. So if he was practicing Hebrew customs and the people he came into contact with was practicing Hebrew customs, did not tell you that they was Hebrews too. Faith, improve your own self. We gonna examine ourselves. We gonna examine ourselves. We gonna examine ourselves. Don't put the blame out on me. Don't put the blame out on me. Don't put the blame out on me. Before you be looking around, you need to examine yourself. You need to examine yourself. Before you be. Which is what we say, right? The Ashanti, right? The 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 Ewe, right? The entire Akan family, uh, the Ebos, all of these people were Hebrews. Okay? And they knew it. Aluda gonna touch on it. Read. But I came at length to a country, the inhabitants of which differed from us in all those particulars. So now he's talking about coming to a place, right, where you know, just before he set sail, you know, on the coast, he's dwelling with another African people, different people. He, he says that they're different from them. Ready, ready, hey, fuck your own enemy. Yeah, I wish I said they remember me. We beat them bruised and we face the heat. Okay, he was like, this is a place that was unlike whatever I was familiar with. Let's see why they were different. I was very much struck with this difference, especially when I came among a people who did not circumcise. What? What? That's only, that's Hebraic culture. Okay? We identify strangers as the uncircumcised when you read in the Bible. It was unclean for us. So he coming across people that don't practice these things. He's like, yo, these people are unclean. Right? He almost sounds like an elitist. He's like, these people are uncircumcised. You know, he sounds like a Pharisee almost, right? Read. And ate without washing their hands. Whose custom was that? Hebraic custom. You could find all of these things in the scrolls. 
Circumcision, washing of hands, right? Read. They cooked also in iron pots. They cooked, <laughs> okay. and had, they cooked also in iron pots. Right, read. And had European cutlasses and crossbows. Okay, this is profound, right? They had European weapons. Now, who knows anything about how, you know, the Europeans took over the West Africans, right? What did they do? They traded weapons, right? Did they not give, did the Europeans not give uh, uh, rivaling African tribes outdated weapons, right? right? For, for, for uh, sources such as slaves, you know, the, the African tribes would be like, all right, you give us some weapons, we'll give you some, man, um, some manpower, right? We'll give you, you know, uh, 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 different goods. So Aluda is explaining all of this. He's saying this people had European weapons. And it was weird because they didn't circumcise, and they did other stuff too. Which were unknown to us, and fought with their fists amongst themselves. Right? They, they was in much strife, okay? He, they sound like very primitive people, okay? Read. Their women were not so modest as ours, but they ate and drank and slept with their men. See now, it was Hebraic culture that we all slept in different quarters, okay? The man slept in the different quarters, the woman had different quarters, especially because when a woman was on her cycle, she needed to be separated. So he's saying, yo, these women, you know, and we follow the ways of the Gentiles right now, because he's saying these women, they did everything with their, their male counterpart. He's saying these people are unclean. Faith, improve your own self. We gonna examine ourselves. We gonna examine ourselves. We gonna examine ourselves. Don't put the blame out on me. Don't put the blame out on me. Don't put the blame out on me. Before you be looking around, you need to examine yourself. You need to examine yourself. Before you be Read. But above all, I was amazed to see no sacrifices or offerings among them. They had no sacrifices or offerings. Where else was this custom? Besides the Bible, I mean, brothers and sisters, at some point, you have to take fact for fact. I mean, you just got to look at the truth. This is an actual Igbo. This is no commentary. This is his personal narrative. He's telling you what's, what's up. And mind you, he's saying that the, the, the African peoples that he was amongst was completely different than his people, right? Now, when you look at that history, it's profound because... No, 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 no. You're saying that we're ham. You're saying that we're ham. All right, so now let me dis let me disprove that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me disprove that. If if, if any of you, if any of you, all right. So let me let me let me uh, refute that really quickly. All right. So let me let me refute that. Let me calm down and refute that. All right. So if anybody knows or familiar with Hotel Rwanda, all right. If you're familiar with Hotel Rwanda, which was an actual event that took place in Africa. All right, you had the Hutu and you had the Tutsi, and one of and one of the things was was the way they was able to distinguish between the Hutu and the Tutsi was exactly what I just said: bone structure, nose, nose width, and cranial structure. When they looked upon these people, and what did they do? They went out into the community with machetes, killing those who they felt was different from them by visually looking at them, that is my witness. Uh, brother, that was so goddamn pitiful. That was pitiful as hell, brother. Now, I'm going to give you one more shot, brother. 
Since you talk about hair follicles, hair, you know, give, give, what is the difference between a Hamite and an Israelite in regards to hair and skin color? Tell me, brother. In, in between what? Give me two phenotypical phenotype differences with, uh, regarding hair and skin color so that I can distinguish between a Hamite and an Israelite or Shemite. Okay, so what I'm what I'm gonna do is there there is a scientist, and I will be posting this in the room. No, I'm asking you, what do you see to distinguish between a Hamite and a Shemite? What do you see with your eyes, sir, that you can teach me that I can Our our hair our hair grows longer than their hair. You can laugh. You can laugh. All, you can laugh all you want. You can laugh all you want. But again, my 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 witness is African people. Real Africans cannot grow hair like Negroes can. So African men cannot grow beards. All right. African women cannot grow afros. All right. So it's, a, it's a, a very powerful thing. If you if you see real African women, you, you'll see that they've always got very very short hair. Because literally they can't grow it. A scientist, very quick. I can post in the room an interview with a scientist that gives the distinction between uh, so called African Americans and Africans based upon hair follicles, cranial structures, nose structure. I can post this as my evidence and my witness. You don't want to take my word for it. I can post the scientific evidence. Now, I want to deal with DNA if you allow me to, brother. Hold on before you go there, brother. Hold on before you go there. Now, what is the skin color difference between Shamites, Israelites, and versus Hamites? What is the what? What is the skin color difference between Hamites, Shamites, from Hamites and Shamites, and Israelites? I never said, I never said anything about skin color difference. Okay, but so you never said nothing about skin color difference, right? Right. To get to give you a basic example, yes. My hair, my hair is is to my waistline. All right, let me show you. Right now, look, look. This is this is my hair. This is my hair. Well, it was popularized in Jamaica. Well, well, the Bible tells you that Samson has seven locks. So, what are you talking about? Okay, brother, I know that, brother, because the Africans existed before Israel became a nation, before Abraham even existed, brother. Okay, stop it. Now, brother, your hairstyle is an African hairstyle, sir. No, it's not. That's right. He's right. Ain't no such thing as an African. He's right. Oh, my God. Brothers, I got a lot of people. Are we Americans then? Are we Americans? You ain't no goddamn American, nigga. You came from Africa, man. What the hell is wrong with you? There's no such thing. Are we Americans then? Are we Americans?
Shemite's an Africans then, right? Bro, bro, Shemite's an African. No, between them and Shemite, and Shemite's an African. Are you going to let me talk? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, are you going to let me talk? Hey, hey, Minister, Minister, let, let Jeremiah come on in, man. You've been talking the whole time. Let the brother come on in. Come on, Jeremiah. Man, now I'm just asking you, bro, over in Africa, that's 52 countries. So basically I'm saying, are we, it's 52, I mean, are we Americans then? Is that what you're saying? Because we're because we in this land, do that make us, uh, 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 do that make us Americans? What the hell did God make us American? I Brother. said, are we Americans here since we live over here? You are, you are, you are, you are by, you are by uh, relocation, okay, a, a nation of Americans. And an American is not an ethnicity. That is just a nation. I can, you and I can go and say, hold on, Brother Scott. No, 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 listen, Brother Scott. Listen to me, Brother. Brother, listen to me for a second, please. Bro, tell oh me the nation where we're African. Brother, listen to me good, brother. After the United Nations, show me where right, Africans, all them countries is represented by one person called an African. Can you show me that? At the, at the uh, United brother, Nations? Can brother. you show me that? No, he cannot. No, he cannot show you that. If you be quiet, I'm going to give you a you won't be stupid talking like you're talking. No, we are not all Africans. Oh, my God, man. Let me finish talking to you, bro. Let me know when I can talk. Uh, I will. I, 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 I'm going to say what I got to say. I'm going to let you know. Let me know if you're going to be quiet while I make my statement. I'm quiet right now. All right. Now, you can't sit here and tell us that we're all Africans. Even people over in Africa, they distinguish themselves. Say, I'm Liberian. I'm from a I'm from Kenya. I'm Ethiopian. They don't say we all Africans, and even at the United Nations, they got a table of an uh, Ethiopian representative, uh, 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 somebody from Kenya, somebody from Nigeria. It ain't no one damn person over there who represent the whole continent. That's right. Right. Can you stop? Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so um, let me say this since there's a great pause. We've been talking about we've been talking about DNA and uh, the concept. The concept of DNA is a European concept. Let's make that clear. All right. Let's make that clear. And there are also biased records on both sides. So you can't you can't say you have the undisputable truth when you know that there are other records that disagree with your stance. You understand? So we have to take all these things in consideration. So I've been dying to share this book with you all. If you all could take uh, uh take your phones, look at your phones. I want to show you all something here. Right? I want to show you all something. Yeah, he got up out of here. Yeah, he, he, come on, bro. How are we all Africans that there's 52 countries on there? The reason, if that's the case, at the United Nations, they're going to have one person in there representing all 52 countries over in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. But they got somebody from Nigeria, somebody from Kenya, somebody from Nigeria, somebody from Kenya, somebody from Nigeria, 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 yeah so um what i've been wanting to bring out is everyone can look at their phones this is a book that i have here we've been talking about dna evidence and um since we want to talk about it this is uh when Scotland was Jewish, all right, and it says here, as you can see, what? DNA evidence and archaeologists, and archaeology, right, and the migration. So now when you go and you look at this particular book, all right, one second here, let me get it. Um, 
it talks about making the distinction and connection with uh, King James. Salakia, can y'all see that? All right. All right, so this is in the orange. All right, so this is in the orange, and it reads, The Stuart family paternal line in France was descended from the tribe of Judah. He believes his family is of Davidic ancestry, right? He, uh, that, that is from the Jewish King David. He and his, he is therefore a Jew by descent. So when you look at the Stuart family, they have a connection to Israel. Now watch this. All right. So we're looking at DNA. We're talking about DNA. That's what we're talking about. All right. So let's see if there are any connection to the so-called African-Americans in America with the so-called uh, uh, Salakia, with the people of Israel. So it says here, the Stuart donor scores matches those of the Caldwell donors in the second wave of immigration. So we, we now move to a discussion. Those Jews are crypto Jews who joined their colonists in Scotland after 1300. What we term the Stuart, what we term the Caldwell Stuart Heblo type. What is a Heblo type? That's a DNA strand, brothers and sisters. What we call the Caldwell Stewart heblotype is the most frequent male heblotype on record. It is widely distributed throughout Europe in America. It occurs in the in most ethnic populations, including African Americans and Hispanics. So if you want to deal with DNA, because the brother said, check your DNA and it, it'll come back ham. No, we check our DNA and it comes back Shem, right? Descendant of the ancient Israelites of the land known and renamed as the land of Canaan. So we, people, so-called African-Americans in America, we have a DNA connection, bone cranial structures, Connecting us to the children of Israel, automatically making us separate from Ham. It doesn't matter about the mixture because at the end of the day, these people ban their own DNA strand, which is different from the people calling themselves African in Africa, Ethiopian, Egyptian, Nubian, or South African or whatever. They have different DNA strands than the people in America. I yield the floor. Uh, thank you, now, dear brother. Now, uh, let's use some common sense for a second. Now, do you believe that the only people that white folks enslaved, since all them black people over there in Africa was black, and the black black people, do you believe that they were, oh, we're only going to send Shemite African uh, enslaved them we're not going to enslave no Hamite Africans. Do you believe that it was Shemite Africans only, or was it, or was it Hamites Africans and Shemite Africans who I, became enslaved? I believe that the curses that is prophesied in the Bible will fall upon, fall upon the children of Israel. They fall upon them. Could there have been, could there have been, let me answer the question, brother. Let me answer the question. Could there have been certain uh, uh, Hamites or those of, of the lineage of Ham? Could there have been a certain mixture? Uh, uh, I don't have no problem with that. But the majority of the people that went into cargo slave ships were, were, were in cargo slave ships because of curses of their forefathers. And the hand of the Most High was operating in that whole diaspora. So when the Europeans came to get slaves... Not a single African went into slavery. What happened was the slavers came for the Judeans, the Negroes, and it was the Africans 
who actually sold them into slavery. It was the Arabs and the Africans who sold them into slavery. Right? They didn't sell themselves into slavery. It was uh, the, the Africans were selling the outsiders, the ones who came in and were, were actually prospering in, in the wilderness of their land. So, um, so that dispels that, uh, that myth that Africans were selling each other into slavery. So um, on a similar note, who were the Spartans? at that history is profound because it's showing you that Israel did not put in captivity Israel it was the, it was part of Psalms 83 the tumult right and the people that have taken crafty counsel one of them is the sons of Ham so it was the Hamites that put Israel into captivity not Israel because people say well if you come from West Africa if the Israelites was in West and South Africa then you know then they sell each other into slavery it's like well maybe there's a few exceptions but by and large no because they knew who they were back then remember Africa is very tribal we the only people now we say we claim the whole kind of Africa how lost is that brothers I'm African that don't even make no sense okay these brothers historically they was like I'm Igbo I'm Ewe okay I'm Ashanti right so the Hamites knew who the Hebrews were, and they sold them into slavery. Uh, 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 Aluda Equiano was accounting this fact. We all over Africa, all over, not in one place. South Africa, East Africa, North Africa, West Africa. You got black Israelite tribes all over, it, all over Africa. And if you think that these uh, black African uh, uh, Israelite tribes all over Africa for thousands of years or hundreds of years, never hit to marry with Hamites, you have lost your goddamn mind. And if you thought that 72 Israelites walked into uh, Egypt and became a nation under, under, under Joseph for 430 years, intermarrying with Hamites, and you think that they came out of there being pure Shamites and not more Hamites than Shamites, you are just a liar. Okay? Nobody, so, nobody so, said they didn't mix, so, man. So, nobody so, said so, they so, didn't so, mix. Brother, so, 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 I don't care about that. My, my grandmother lived 104. Do you know how long? Here. And, okay. and, and, right here. My family didn't care about my grandmother, but she just died this year. Okay. She was a slave. Okay, okay. you right here in Stone Mountain. You can go and you Who can see Who says that our ancestors were not slaves? No, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about in this country that built this country. And we don't get no reparations. But y'all come over here. Hold on. McDonald's, uh -huh. okay, which is a very huge company. I know there was a slow, there was a, there was a small company, but they don't charge you for no water. You come over here, you get all kinds of tax breaks. But then you charge us for the water? Are you serious? We're the one that built the pipes under this Hold building, on. baby. Wait, wait, wait. So if, we, if we pay for it. This is private. I don't care. I don't give a damn. Just because you love doesn't make you right. I don't care. And no, it's not about being right. It's about what happened. What's the truth? I if, you're, you're not slave. Your right and my right. You're not a slave. My right. I come from slavery. No, you didn't. My, we I, do I, too. We're African, yeah. so we know. You don't know where the fuck we're Excuse from. Me. Just because we're Excuse brown, me. don't see your talk. I'm talking about African American. Can you leave? My parents uh, were born in Africa, but good job. We're African American. Thank you very much. If you want Kenya to Kenya and Uganda. Our parents were born in Africa. Okay, in Africa. Yes. In Africa, not African American. What the hell does that mean? African you know mean, that mean? American means that your ancestors were bought over no, here through the slave ship. It doesn't really yes, make it does. any sense. Yes, it does. No, it That's really what doesn't. it does. That's what it your means. Your African soul my, 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 my grandmother, my ancestry comes from slavery. My grandmother was here when slavery What's was What's this going to do with anything? Just, because y'all come over here Who's and you yours? create your Who's own. Yours? Who's yours? I'm saying your ancestry. Who's our ancestry? Where are we from? Your ancestry. Where are we? Where, You're where not from that? here? Where is that? You're not from here? So where are we? Your your mother, your mother's mother wasn't raised here. My my generation only go back one generation. You know where my mother's mother's mother was raised? Do you know where my mother's mother you know where my mother's you, mother you, mother you know getting but you don't know where So where, where, where so you think that you think that I only thing I'm saying is y'all come over here and I'm saying y'all because the majority, we can go in my community, I live in Lithonia. When I go in my community, it's not me that's owning it. 
okay? When I go to the nail shop, it's the, it's like the man said, it's the Vietnamese and people the don't Chinese want to walk. People that don't want to walk. It. But they come over here, you own the industry. The Indians, you go. Come, the, Indi the Indians come over here, they own the hotel. Yeah. And they own yeah. me. Because we want to make money. What? But I'm asking you, why is there an industry of you? Who has opened the market to you? Those do not want jobs. People don't want jobs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you go back, go all the way back, okay? At one point in time, it was us that owned it, okay? In our own communities. You got to go back in our history of who we yeah. were. Hold on, but let me tell you, when crack was brought into our communities, it broke up our families, okay? Wait, I didn't bring crack. That's a, right, no, you didn't. But you reaped the repercussions and you reaped the benefits of crack being we brought into our it. community. We it doesn't matter. Voices. It doesn't matter. It's a system. Why are you screaming it's at me? It's a system. Because you don't understand it's a system. No, you don't understand. Up that system. You. You I don't understand it. Hold up. Because I don't give a fuck. You go to the back. You got a loan. You, you, you go to the back. You get a loan. You mean? get a gas station. Excuse me. Let me ask you why I can't get a loan. Why? And I'm supposed to be. Wait a minute. Hold on. What's, what, was, what was. Um, 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 what is it called? Um, I don't even know. Oh, God. Something about affirmative action. Why was affirmative action here? Since you so fucking smart and she, you know so motherfucking everything and she, you think that all black people, we just can't own shit and we don't want to be a part of our uh, own shit in our own community. We want you owning shit in our community. We want you to go back to where you live because where I live, don't none of you live, but you come to our community That's to fine. take our money. Yeah. Why you are you in the black community? Why we don't own You're right. this? You're right. Why we don't own about. this? That's Why we don't own the hair store down the street? That's your That's fault. what I you know what I you know I want to own the hair store. But guess what? Go when I get ready to go try to own the hair store, who controls the industry? The yeah. Chinese, they got to sell it to us. So they don't want to sell to us. Who's they do not want to. No, no, no. It's Chinese? not our fault. You have to have <laughs> open up opportunity, which is the open market. Yeah. Okay? Okay, my thing is, y'all come over here and you. Who's you yours? Who's yours? Where are you from? Are you serious? Where are you from? Just understand what I'm saying. That's how. That's how Love him. Oh, do something. Fuck you. You don't know where the fuck I'm from, motherfucker. You don't out. know where the fuck I'm from. Go back to your country. Go back to your country and make your money there. I'm fine. Make your money in your Money's here. Money's here. Money here. here. Come out here. Come out here. Who's going? I'm going to do that.